And we've got the hottest footage you're ever likely to see. How thermal imaging is giving us a rare insight into the world of the white rhino at Nosey Safari Park. at Liverpool John Moores University. What it is is that thermal imagery now enables us to work out the body temperature of the animals without actually physically getting hold of them. Now, that can give us an indication of if there's any problems with them or the state of their health. So, for example, if you've got a sort of low temperature, it might be an indication of a reduced blood supply, and that might indicate problems or the animal's getting very cold. Or there might be a raised blood supply indicating an inflammation. Now, with animals like these that you have at Nosley Safari Park, we can't actually get hold of them and handle them because that would cause them a lot of stress. Obviously, if it has to be done, then it has to be done, but you want to minimise it to the, most, uh, to the best that you can do. Uh, I'm Leah Drury and I'm a rhino keeper at Nosley Safari Park and I'm also part of the research and conservation team. Um, it adds another dimension to our job really, working with the students. Um, it's nice to know that we can help them out in their academic careers and also the data that they collect for us is really useful because often it's stuff that um, their results actually influence the way that we uh, uh, manage the animals at the park. Um, it can improve their welfare and kind of the veterinary care of the animals as well. Over, we, we don't work in with them, we work remotely. Uh, these doors are automatic, um, so what we do is we open the doors and she'll go out onto the yards. Everybody has a bad day, Never, it's just not worth the risk. Um, you get about 60 keeper deaths around the world every year and you'll find if you look at them closely they're all due to human error in the end. Um, um, it's like stretch marks, um, it's dry skin because she's that big, she can't actually mud bath properly. Um, they rely on the mud baths to keep, um, to keep their skin supple. And because she's so pregnant, um, she can't roll that way. But we would give her an artificial mud bath out of a bucket, but um, we can't guarantee there isn't any bacteria in the soil. So rather than take the risk of ha having infected cuts, that will go then. Will it? Yeah, yeah. We we put Nivea moisturizer, E45 cream. Really? So, yeah. You can get involved with real live animals, and that is something at the university that we try to to push really in our courses is that we're working with real live animals, not bits of animals at the bottom of a test tube. And that is really what sort of turns us on, if you like, really. It's the, it's the live animal in as close to its natural environment as possible. And Knowles at Safari Park has got the best po possible sort of the closest to that that we can do without actually going to South Africa itself. 